Yeah, um, you had asked a question earlier that I don't think ever got addressed. And then what he just said kind of reminded me of the question that you asked. So do you mind repeating the last question that you asked? Mapif. Oh, the last question? Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. The question was, can a relationship... Is something about, is it fulfilling or... Yeah, can a relationship with a married man ever be fulfilling? Or is it destined to end heartache for everyone involved? Okay. So, yes. I don't know if the answer is that it can be fulfilling or not. But what I will say is, if it's not fulfilling, then there is no incentive. I don't see any reason why a woman should deal with a man that's married if it's not going to be a fulfilling situation and that's going to depend on what her needs are at that time because like he said for men they're going to do whatever is convenient for them so if what's convenient for a married man is not fulfilling for you as a single woman why would you deal with somebody who's gaining and you're not um I well, I'll take that back. I will say I think that yes, it can be fulfilling because different women have different needs and different um men are at different points where they can fulfill those needs or not. So the only reason that I think that a woman should be dealing with a man if he's married is if it is a fulfilling situation. Otherwise, it just makes zero sense. Because like you said, if it's not convenient for him, then He's not going to do more than he has to because he doesn't have to. He has somebody at home. Okay. Are you you talking this? Yeah, I, I I think I believe that it is fulfilling for them because, like she just said, why why else would would they be doing it? You know, it's the and we kind of touched on this on this subject I think last week as well, but. It's that it correlates with with dating a bad guy, a bad boy, you know, a gangster or whatever. It's it's that you living on the edge. You're doing something that you know you're not supposed to be doing. It adds that extra little oomph into it, you know, the the sneaky link, and you know, it, it's that it's it's the mentality or it, it's what comes with it as well. Um, it's not having the responsibilities, but also um, knowing that you're doing something that that you shouldn't be doing. You know, it, it's that extra little edge that that a person, man or woman, would get out of it. So I, I think that it is fulfilling, especially to the young lady that that was making the statement in the video. It, it's 100 percent fulfilling to her. Because it's that's that's her why. Uh, when when people realize or figure out what their why is in life, in relationships, in business, whatever the case may be, then that's what they're going to pursue, uh, and that's what's going to fulfill them. So, I, I think that I think yeah, it it can be fulfilling, um, and depending on the the dialogue and the communication. Uh, I think that there is a possibility of somebody being hurt, but at the same time, as uh, they used to say back in the day, if you put it all on the table, it keep everything stable. Um, okay, I have to chime in one more time. Sorry. <laughs> so we we're, when we talk about fulfilling, you're it sounds like you were talking about like sexual gratification or even like that sneaky factor that's like in, exciting. For a woman. Yes, that exists, but we've been talking about women as side chicks throughout this conversation. That's just one element. There are also women that are sex workers. And so fulfilling to them might be getting the money at the end of the night. So it's not always about like, oh, they're trying to be sneaky and they're just trying to do something that's going to make them excited. It's like, no, some women actually are unprotected in the world. Some women are actually, you know, single and they actually need to have their needs met. Maybe they're a sex worker by profession. And so dealing with a married man is fulfilling for them because 
he's going to pay their bills or he's going to be one of the people that's going to pay their bills. I, I think that that's a, I think that that's a different conversation though, because if it, if it's a sex worker compared to a woman that um, maybe she got all the shit together and she just can't find a, a solid man, uh, but she's having this affair with the, with the CEO or the, the executive, one of the executives at a job or something, uh, or even a doorman, you know, to, it, it's, those are, I, don't think I, it's I think, different. I, I think, I think it's different because, because, uh, a, the a, motives a, are a, different. a woman outside, a woman outside of a sex worker, they're, they're, they're not nece- they're not necessarily looking for the companionship. Uh, I think that women that choose or people that choose to be uh, side chicks, uh, uh, if it's consistent, a big part of that is still the companionship that's there. Even though there may not be the full commitment, there's still some type of companionship there because it's it's a relationship at the end of the day. Unless it's one and done, um, then that's something different. But if it's something consistent, then at this point, it's a relationship. So that relationship comes with companionship. We now get into the into the routine of, like King said, I'm, me coming over and watching Grey's Anatomy. We having some wine, uh, ordering some Chipotle, whatever, and we get into this routine of where I'm a, I'll see you, I'll see you next Thursday, you know what I'm saying, type of deal. So I, I think that there's there's a different element that plays a part of it once a person is now there strictly for the money if she's a sex worker. All right, let's get Chanel. I know Chanel had a question on what to say, so let's make sure we get in there too, y'all. I don't think it's relevant anymore now because uh, we kind of moved on, but I was going to ask, um, on. What is this th- what is the men thoughts about um a woman you know uh, uh, what is your thoughts about a woman wanting to be fulfilled outside the marriage so she's not getting what she wants with a man what <laughs> um i think that- that's unfathomable Louis, is it Louis? <laughs> yeah Louis was talking and he was just talking about you know men and all that stuff and you know being fulfilled and we can work this out you know is that does that go both ways or is it automatically that that's only acceptable for the man i mean honestly in today's climate it could be for for both parties i mean i don't i don't i don't gatekeep on the relationship dynamics that are out here today which unfortunately there's like so many that i can't even personally need or keep up with each each their own understands their needs and in what capacity they're willing to care, love, or, you know, contribute to that relationship. And if they know that they come up short in certain areas or they care about this person that they don't really care about sex that much or they don't care about whatever this is over here and they're willing to forego that, they have an understanding amongst themselves, right? And they make that work. This is why I said everybody's relationship should be, you know, not discussed openly to all their peers because they don't understand the the dynamics and the workings of it behind the scene. They understand each other and they have an understanding. It's just that people who are on the outside trying to look in behind the veil think that they understand. Think that they understand that what's going on and, and tend to kind of uh throw stones and try to poke but in reality you have to protect that because you understand what you signed up for and you understand your person and you understand in what capacity you're able to care or love for that person you just don't need to share that with everybody and unfortunately people get to the point where they feel like they have to put everything on front street just to validate the reasons why their dynamic works for them 